We have all been there, finishing a season with a player at the high potential. Come next season, boom, that potential has diminished the big time. But what causes this to happen? This is the reason why. At the end of the season, dynamic potential calculates which players did better or worse in your team in order to determine which players are worthy of a potential upgrade or downgrade. It affects all your players the same way by strictly looking at whether they have gotten playtime and performed well or not throughout the season. Therefore, if your player received a little to no playtime during the season, even if you promoted a youth academy player a few days before the end of the season, they will be affected the same way as any other player in the team. Dynamic potential is that brutal. Video that goes in depth on dynamic potential will be published soon on the the channel now that you know the main cause behind your players losing their potential at the end of the season let's look at ways in which we can avoid that from happening all right the first method you can apply is the releasing those players before you start complaining why would you do that hear me out if you release your player a few days before the end of the season, you will find them as free agents at the beginning of the following season. You can then choose to make them rejoin your team or let them be picked and nurtured by another club until you feel they are fit enough to rejoin your team. See. Choosing to release your players before the end of the season means that they won't be affected because you release them before dynamic potential can take its toll on them. What I usually like to do is release them two days before the end of the season and sign them on the first day of the new season. That way, it guarantees that no other club will sign them before you do. The cons of this method is that it only allows you to release two players per season but that is something the next method can help you with. You're probably out there thinking, I have done that before but no club ever seems interested in buying them or taking them on swap deals. Well, there is a guaranteed way that actually works. Do a direct swap deal with players over the age of 40. Here is an example with Joel Quinn from Real Betis. There you go, no extra cash offered and the method works just fine. The best news about this method is that you can do this with any player in your squad and also place them in the league or team of your own choice as long as they have a 40 plus year old in their squad. What I usually like to do is offer a swap deal with a team I'm confident my player will be guaranteed game time. Next up, I put those old players on a one year contract. They won't complain about game time until their contract run out. And like the first method, that particular team will nurture your player into a superstar. You can then buy that particular player from them in the future. But unlike the first method, you can do this countless times. Now, one would argue that the player will be expensive in the future when you want to buy him back. Remember, few seasons into your career mode save, you will find yourself with a chunk of money, you probably don't even know what to do with it. Take this method as more of a buyback clause. It is however very important to use this method anytime before the end of the January transfer window. This is because as long as a player is in your squad by the end of the season, Dynamic potential will affect them the same way as any other player in your squad. 
So bear that in mind when using this method. Those are two guaranteed methods you can use to ensure that your players never again suffer at the hands of dynamic potential. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to drop the video a like, subscribe, comment any video preferences you would like to see on the channel in the future. Turn on notifications so you never miss out on any future uploads. Much love, take care and I'll see you in the next video.